In your words, sir, why should they care? I don't think it's in the best interest of our nation for any external entity to attempt to ma manipulate outcomes, to shape choices. Welcome to Serious Sediments. I don't know what episode this is because I've just been watching this Russia, how they got to the elections in the United States and how they they manipulated all of us in our minds and there was agents everywhere and the evil Russia changed the whole world as we know it when Donald Trump became president. You know, this guy... This congressman, I think his name is Denny Heck, Democrat from Washington. Wow. Uh, he just compared what happened to Hillary Clinton losing in 2016 to literally 9-11. I, I think he said sunk battleships, too. So I think what he meant there was uh, uh, Pearl Harbor. So he says... The three most tragic things that's ever happened in American history that, you know, he just kind of threw out there. Pearl Harbor, 9-11, and Hillary Clinton getting jobbed by the Russians in 2016? I'm, uh, I, I'm just going to let you all sit back and laugh on that one alone. So this congressman, Denny Heck, started off his little ramblings by saying... Well, this is not partisan. This is patriotic. Looking into another country, Russia. Look, you know, they're trying to... There's much evidence. I've got all the evidence here that they tried to manipulate and, and hack and get into our elections. And Russia did this and Russia did that. But this is more than Democrat and Republican. And then he went on to mention a whole bunch of people somewhat associated with Donald Trump. And say, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. These Democrats still are crap in their pants, but why are they taking a six-month tour to come up with, like, a, a ironclad defense of why Hillary Clinton lost? She sucked! She sucked ass! Worse than any other candidate in the history of life! I mean, she's close to John McCain for being that bad of a candidate. Or Bob Dole. I mean... Wow! But the Democrats are still trying to get a narrative out there. Here's my question. Why the hell are we not investigating Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation? We've spent the whole first month and a half of Donald Trump Trump's uh, presidency investigating Donald Trump, Russians, and everybody around Donald Trump and why the, the election was a big hacked mess and that Donald Trump is illegitimate. That's all we spent our time on here, folks. Do you realize that? There's no lock her up, lock her up, look into her cheating, look into her at her f uh, foundation stealing millions and millions of dollars. There's been none of that. It's all been looking at Trump. So I, I, all those people who wasted their time going lock her up, lock her up, this is what you're getting. You're getting investigations into Donald Trump and Russia. How do, I, I'm wondering how the Democrats still have the power over the media and investigations to control a president's whole first hundred days in office. I mean, they've got nothing. These Democrats have nothing. But they, they, they obviously have something because they're controlling the narrative, folks. They're controlling the narrative. It is so ridiculous what's happening right now. And all the Democrats that have asked uh, Comey, FBI director, and this other idiot about... Uh, uh, Russia today. It's just, it's its embarrassing. The most interesting one was Trey Gowdy. He got to the heart of the matter and I think we're going to find some things out further in the future on that note. Maybe the leakers is what I'm talking about. I think he kind of identified a, a few of the people who were probably leaking these sensitive things about Donald Trump out there. We'll get to that one. But this is all BS, folks. And it's so just, it's so crazy to watch. It is it is hilarious. It is hilarious. So anyway, this Denny Heck, man, poop out of your mouth on a consistent basis today. I, I, mo most ridiculous person I saw up there, honestly. And that that's not easy to do because there's a lot of idiots up there. Republicans, shame on you. Shame on you. And Democrats, congratulations. You won the 2016 election, I guess, because you control everything. All we think about is what Democrats want to think about. So, way to go. Trump, 
Man, get the business here. Get these guys in order, please. And maybe focus on Hillary Clinton. Just because she lost doesn't mean she's going away. I think she wants to be mayor of New York City. So come on. Lock her up. Thanks for watching.